Hello, do you know what is the difference between a dogma and a myth? A myth is when the person believing it is another guy. And for that, what the experts say about cyclopean walls can also be just baseless myths. Today we'll visit the region of Mycenae to check out a small cyclopean building, the so-called Pyramid of Hellenica, a baby cyclops crib that demoralizes a few of the sleeping stories experts tell themselves. Most experts would agree that this unique pyramid is a military construction, visited by Pausanias and built in the 4th century BC. However, all the words in that last sentence are probably wrong. Let's check them one by one. Starting with unique. Okay, this is not a big deal. The word is quite vague, just an adjective. But it's relevant to note that nearby there were about 10 other buildings very much like this. The pyramid is part of a network of strange baby cyclopean buildings, most of them quite damaged and hardly recognizable, and of which two have sloped walls, including our protagonist. The locations are all over. A couple of the cyclopean dollhouses are located high up on top of a hill, including the showy Adrian's Fortress, whilst many others are reduced to rows of rocks lost in the countryside. Let's see a list of them. Moving on to another word, the pyramid, it's not a pyramid, it's a trapezoidal prism, just the bottom of a pyramid, without the top. The slope is too steep and the thickness of the wall would not support a complete pyramid. Looking carefully, we can still see on one side the full height of the building, not very pyramidal at all, hardly taller than a big human or a tiny cyclops. Before being ruined, it would look less like a pyramid and more like a boxy house, like its friends nearby. Still, it's called a pyramid because what is left today allows one to imagine it with a pointy top. For comparison, the other one eyed box that is also called a pyramid for having sloped walls no longer seems to deserve that description, being all broken down. Every other building from this miniature collection do not show similar sloped walls. But beyond that, they are clearly part of some sort of trope, being all close by, about the same size and with similar cyclopean constructions. So, either a prism or a cube, shape is not an important feature. Watchtower, prison, tomb, blockhouse, garrison, inn, wine cellar, there are almost as many names and attributed usages for these buildings as there are buildings itself. And none of them make sense, due to one common trace in the layout. These buildings do not have windows. Having no windows is good to let the baby cyclops sleep, 
but eliminates most of the usages, especially the military, such as being a watchtower or barracks, as it does not make sense to trap soldiers within a building where they cannot keep an eye on outside enemies. Furthermore, many of these buildings are in places with low tactical value, in valleys, away from roads. Still, despite not making sense, the military end is the most popular usage proposed by the experts. It is also true that all the other alternative usages are not convincing. These baby cyclop cots are too small for a prison, too expensive to build for storage or wine cellar, too much without dead people inside to be graves. Beyond that cradle, the best explanation, in my opinion, is that these are place markers, like signposts, an altar marking the spot of a special event from the past. Although, they were not effective at all in that purpose, as we have no idea what those events might have been. It is at least a similar idea to what Pausanias wrote. Pausanias was a Roman travel blogger, who is the only likely written source for these constructions, if read with some wishful thinking. In his travel TikToks, Pausanias identifies a pyramid-like building and says it marks the spot of an early Mycenaean battle. That battle was a standstill between Proetos and Acrisius. This last one is the father-in-law of Percy, not Jackson. In a fight that is said to be the beginning of the Mycenaean civilization, somewhere around the second millennium BC. Which brings about a problem with the dates. These blocky buildings are expertly dated from the 4th century BC, despite there being no better evidence for that date. It's even fair to say the contrary, there is evidence to think they are much older, from when the Cyclops were just babies. There is the written evidence, with Pausanias reeling it in from early in the Mycenaean era. There is pottery evidence, produced by excavations under the pyramid, that yielded some early Eladic remains. And there is, let me take a breath here, thermoluminescence, which is a technique used to date stones, and although it's not foolproof, it helps. These three sources place the building at old and distant dates. Thermoluthingi comes in at 20 to 25 BC. The early Eladic pottery is 25 to 28, with the building being younger than that for being on top. And the Mycenaean culture began about the 15, so its creation myths should be older. All in all, we have three indications that the buildings are from the beginning of the second or the end of the third millennia close to the age of the pyramids in Egypt, which is a big deal and would hurt a lot of expert mythology. And so, what did the experts do with this art evidence? They did exactly the opposite they do when other theories they don't like are missing such hard signs. They dismissed it, on accounts such as they found older pottery inside, which also means later usage, and not building dates or insulting the work of dissenting voices, or worse, stylistic similarity. Note this, we've all seen that Cyclopean masonry is quite similar around the region, in Italy, Greece, Albania, whatever. That familiarity in style is not used as a source for a common dating, because many of those sites miss the art evidence, the pottery sheds, the thermo nullu blah blah, or the ancient written references. However, when the same art evidence show up, pointing on to an earlier date, then they are rapidly discarded and only then comes the similar style argument. (music) 
They say these funny little boxes or topless pyramids are quite similar in style to other weird buildings in Casope, 400 kilometers away. Being dated, even the gods in Olympus would like to know why from the 4th century BC. And thus, that fashion keeps them young. Experts are fashion victims only when the dates don't fit them. The pottery, the terminal umi thingy, the ancient texts are now pointing to an older date. Thus, this time, they are being ignored to force the baby cyclops to dress up in something from the 4th century BC calendar. There's even more. Just a few miles away from the prison blockhouses, we have Mycenae itself, the capital of that period, which has an old wall, built in that same sharply polygonal style. That is old, at least from the same early 2nd millennia BC, such as the pyramid. Take that for stylistic similarity. That's it. Trust the evidence, they say. Unless it says everything is a thousand years older, in that case, look away from the evidence and ignore that recurrent mystery, where older construction is the best. Something we'll bump into again in the next video. Looking out for Percy, not Jackson. Until then, leave this one a like.